Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at how to use the lightbox in Nevada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. Avada uses a lightweight jQuery JavaScript library called iLightbox, which allows you to beautifully display images and videos in their own pop-up windows. Lightbox is highly integrated throughout the Avada website builder. It can be configured from the global options, and can also be called independently from several elements, including the Lightbox element itself. Let's walk through the various ways of how to use the Lightbox in Nevada. I'm on the photography pre-built site here, and I've added a number of elements to this page, all of which call the Lightbox, starting with the gallery element at the very top here. But much of the design and behaviour of the Lightbox comes from the global options, so let's look at those first. The Lightbox has its own tab in the Global Options, under Lightbox. It's here you configure the Lightbox's basic design and behaviour. Let's go through the options here. The first one is to enable or disable Lightbox entirely. This is on by default, but if for some reason you don't want to use it, you can completely disable it here. Just be warned, the Lightbox is used by default in the Gallery element, and without it, galleries are nowhere near as functional or good looking. Lightbox is also enabled on featured images on single posts and portfolio pages by default, and again you can turn it off here if you wish. There is also a behavioural switch for blog and portfolio posts, allowing you to choose between the Lightbox showing the first featured image of every post, or only the featured images of the individual post. Then there is an option for the Lightbox skin. There are seven skins to choose from, to match your style. For a visual representation of each style, check out the skin section of the Lightbox documentation linked below. Next is the Thumbnails Position option. You can set this to the bottom or to the right. Under this is the Animation Speed option, which controls the speed of the image transition. An option for arrows, which are used to navigate through the images. An option for a Gallery Stop Start button. And a related option to autoplay the Lightbox Gallery. Moving further down, there is a slideshow speed option, and an option for the opacity of the background. Here it is set to 88%. There are options to turn titles and captions on for the lightbox, as well as one for social sharing links. I'll just turn the title and caption options on. Then there is a deep linking option which creates a URL for sharing purposes, a show post images in lightbox option, and a slideshow video dimensions option where you can set the dimensions for any videos you share in a lightbox. I'll just go to the front end of this page, where we can see the gallery I've made in action. If I open one of the images in this gallery, we can see the lightbox style here. This one is called Metro Black. We can see the play controls at the top, as well as the title and caption above and below the image. The navigational arrows are at either side, with the thumbnails at the bottom, and you can navigate through the images by clicking on the arrows, using the mouse wheel, or clicking on a thumbnail. As we mouse over the images, we can also see the sharing options at the top. To close the lightbox gallery, we can just click outside the image. Ok, let's now look at how we can call the lightbox from different elements. But before we do, there is one more global option worth looking at here, and that's in the Avada Builder Elements tab, and the Gallery Elements section. Here there is a lightbox content option which sets the global default of whether titles, captions, Titles and Captions, or Nothing, is shown on the images of a gallery when opened in a lightbox. As you can see here, I have set these to Titles and Captions. And for these to work, the previously mentioned Titles and Caption options also have to be enabled in the Lightbox Global Options tab. So there are many elements that can use the lightbox. There is of course the lightbox element itself, which is useful if you want to display a video in a lightbox, but for most situations, the image element is going to be the most likely element to use. But you can also call the lightbox from the image carousel element, the media slider element, or the gallery element, as I've shown here. For some elements, it's on by default, like the gallery element. While others, you have to enable it in the options if you want to use it. Lightboxes are really useful to be able to show your images at a larger size by clicking on a thumbnail on the page. So my main tip with lightboxes is to make sure the image in the lightbox is bigger than the image thumbnail you are clicking to open it. Otherwise, there's not much point in doing it. Let's look at the lightbox element to demonstrate this. I have the element added to a half column on this page, and you can see there is an option for a thumbnail image and a full image. If I click to add the thumbnail image, 
and select an image here, you can see on the right hand side the various sizes I have to insert. I want this one to be a smaller size image to suit my layout. I'm adding this into a half column so I will pick the 600 pixel width version and insert into the page. Now I'll repeat the process with the full image and here I will choose the full size image so I will select that and insert it into the page. If I go into preview mode and open the image, it opens the image in the light box at the full size I selected. If we look at the next column which is an instance of the image element, you'll see it's a slightly different process. I can add the image in any size I wish to suit my layout, and in this case I'll choose the 600 pixel version and insert it into the page. The image light box option further down here is a yes no option. If I select yes, but don't specify a lightbox image in the option that appears below it, you'll see that when I preview, that the image opened in the lightbox is the same size as the one inserted. And if that's not a large image, it completely takes away the point of having a lightbox in the first place. So it's best here to also specify in the option what size lightbox image to load. In this way, you are adding an image to display on the page and a larger image to display in the lightbox. When using the gallery or image carousel elements, it's a bit different. Avada's responsive image options make sure that small size images are used for the thumbs, even if you've uploaded larger images. For more information on how Avada handles images like this, please see our How Avada Controls Responsive Images document, linked in the description below. Here I have an instance of the image carousel element with the light box turned on, and when I open one, you can see the larger image loading. Finally, we can enable the lightbox in the media slider element. Here, the lightbox options are in the individual slides. If we add a full image link to the full image link field, an option appears below it for a lightbox. Okay, thanks for watching. Lightboxes are an awesome website feature, and with Avada we have it fully integrated with a raft of global options, while at the same time allowing you control over it through various elements. Let us know in the comments how you like to use it. This concludes our video on how to use the lightbox in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.